There is a construction site where a building is being built and I want to paint this tower crane in gouache. I don't have a lot of time to make a detailed sketch because the sun is setting down. Sketching first the cabin where the crane operator sits. It's a dangerous job climbing the crane. I saw him once climbing it without any safety assistance. I always ask myself where can you learn to use a crane such as this or a other complex construction machine. I always wonder. I'm using a small palette of three colors, mid yellow, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue plus white. Laying down first the mid tone. What attracted me to this subject, it wasn't the crane itself, it was more how he was lit by the warm sunlight. I liked the sun reflection on the windows. No matter how interesting the subject could be, but when the lighting isn't good, then the whole subject looks immediately boring. I guess sometimes attracts me the motif, sometimes it's the color, sometimes the lighting, and sometimes all together, but this time it was the lighting. Painting the shadow side of the crane. I really like to paint construction machines. As a kid I was attracted to excavators, dump trucks, more than cars or anything else. Adding the background transparent where I mix more water and less pigment. I would normally paint first the background and then the foreground. Mixing a yellow mid-tone, but this time more opaque. Using the big flat brush to paint the bigger shapes. I try to use it as much as I can, then I replace it later with a smaller brush for painting details. Now I try to mix a sky color, but opaque, and I have to paint around the crane. This is a flat synthetic brush that I'm using with a pointy tip, which is very good for precise painting. Try to paint careful around the details. It took me few minutes by looking from one angle to figure out how the frame was constructed. That's what I like about painting and drawing, because you learn a lot about what you paint by observing it. For the frame I will use a ruler this time to paint straight lines. Painting the parts first which are in the shadow. Add few details to the hook. Cropping parts with the background color make them appear more sharp. With gouache you can do such a thing, paint dark over light, light over dark. I have a lot of respect for people who work on construction sites and for people who work on a crane like this. It's a very dangerous and physical hard job. Painting the shadow side of the fence. Adding the cast shadow of the fence. Painting the top side of the fence. It's really hard to get straight lines with a brush. Now cropping them and add a shadow color underneath. I'm losing the light so I have to wrap things up soon.
Later the moon appeared behind the crane so I painted him. It's a nice detail. On the end I want to paint the sun reflections on the windows, which is the brightest color in the painting. I always save the whites for the last, which is the most fun part to paint them. And this is the final painting. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I see you next time.